All right, so Gregor Samsa is this young dude. He's actually a traveling salesman who lives in Austria. He lives at home with his family, which includes his parents and his younger sister. He is pretty much the sole provider for their household. Uh, his job enables them to put bread on the table, pay their uh, mortgage, and enjoy the lifestyle that they have been accustomed to. Anyways, this is the story of Samsa and the way his life got flipped turned upside down. Here we go. Gregor awoke one morning in bed to find that he had been turned into a giant bug. He had little buggy feet and a hard buggy shell and it took him a while to realize what had happened but eventually he starts to move his little feet he was able to hop down from bed and walk around the room see what's up yeah he's a bug now Greg came to terms with the fact that he was now a bug he realized that hey I don't have to go to work anymore I don't have to do a lot of things anymore I can just sort of be a bug and chill as Greg is thinking this his family is at the door they're asking Greg get up you gotta go to work it's time for your job why aren't you getting up the entire time he's trying to talk back but guess what he's got a bug mouth bugs can't talk English so his family doesn't know what's up they're all like Greg if you don't go work you ain't gonna get paid we're gonna get evicted get up go to work and well Greg can't do nothing so they just sort of pester him for a while and then they uh I think they go off somewhere all right so eventually Gregor he opens the door with his mouth and like goes into the living room and guess what everyone's like oh crap man Gregor what the hell happened to you you're all bugified and stuff man that's crazy you need to get out of here we don't Go back to your room. We don't want to hang with you because you're all bug now and you're scared and freak us all the hell out. So go, get on. And so Gregor, they, they lock him back into his room and uh, they're all like, whew, man, what the, what's up with Gregor, man? He looks, he don't look too good, does he? No, no, he don't look good. He don't look good at all. How's he going to do his job if he's a bug now? I don't know. I think we're kind of in trouble. Um, Okay, you, you're in charge of, like, feeding and cleaning up after him and stuff. But I don't know what we're going to do about money. It's kind of a pickle. All right, so now Gregor spends all his time in his room just sort of hanging. He listens to his family talking about, like, how they're not very happy about what's going on and stuff. But he also learns how to be a bug so he can, like, start climbing on walls and on the ceiling and... Eventually, he likes to hang out in these windows and look outside, and sometimes he'll hide under his bed. And his sister, she'll come in and clean up after him. And what he does is he hides under the bed while she comes in, cleans, and she like leaves him food, old scraps of meat that he eats. Munch, 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 munch. Uh, anyways, what happens one night is he hears his sister playing violin in the living room. And so he decides to go see what's going on. So Gregor pops out of his room to see what's going on. His sister is playing violin and she's doing it really beautifully. And he's like, oh man, this is so cool. I love listening to her play music. But guess what? His family sees him like, oh man, we forgot just how bad he looks. He's so horrible looking, oh no. So his dad freaks out and he grabs a bunch of apples and starts pelting him with apples. Fia! Fia! and an apple gets lodged in his back and so he limps off to the room with the apple in his back oh and they're all like oh man that was so scary man he's horrible and uh so yeah he gets pelted by apples Gregor is in his room listening to his family talk oh man you know, life would be a lot easier if Gregor wasn't around. He's really making it hard on us. I kind of wish he'd go away. Yeah, me too. 
Gregor hears this, and at this point, he gives up and succumbs to his infected apple wound, and he dies. Bleh. The family comes and finds Gregor dead. Oh, he's dead. Well, hey, at least now we don't have to take care of him anymore. Woohoo! And I can finally go to violin school. You've also grown into a beautiful young woman who's gonna get married to a like a rich husband and go far. Life is great now that Gregor's dead. Yay. And then the banana joined in as well. And life was wonderful for the Samsa family again. And, um, except for Greg, who is now dead. <laughs>